In this episode, we'll be taking a look at what type of animal Arthur Reed is based on in real life, and how the creators of the show actually lied to you. Kinda. Now, immediately, we can see the character has brown fur, two ears atop his head, and a pair of nostrils with no discernible nose. These features might make you think of some sort of rabbit or mouse, but that's actually what his friends Buster and Mr. Ratburn are based on, each having key design differences from Arthur. No, in fact, Arthur is actually based on an aardvark. Now, I know what you're thinking. How on earth is this no-nose nerd an aardvark? Sure, his fur color and ears somewhat match, but he's missing the most notable feature. Well, just like other animated characters, Arthur has gone through some serious design changes over the years. This is what Arthur used to look like. As you can see, the snout is on full display, and it's much more faithful to how an aardvark would actually look. Over time, the snout shrank until it reached a point of no return, being surgically replaced with a pair of leftover Voldemort nostrils. While the change may seem like an odd choice, there's a deliberate reason for this. The first is for the sake of expression. Arthur's nose used to cover his mouth, so you really couldn't see if he was smiling, frowning, yelling in agony. Anyways, the shaving of the nose allowed for the expressiveness of Arthur to shine through, making it easier to connect to him on an emotional level, resulting in many young children's first parasocial relationship. This change also made it easier for animators to animate the character on his namesake show. Originally, Arthur was based on a series of books, so movement really didn't matter. When it comes to the show, however, odd nose and other bodily shapes can lead to some abnormalities in which a character's appearance can become somewhat cursed to say the least. So, to avoid these situations, the nose was, well you get it by now. Interestingly, however, Arthur's old nose shape isn't quite accurate to an aardvark either. As you can see, aardvarks have a pig-like snout at the end of their nose shaft, whereas Arthur's is rounded off at the end. Most likely a stylistic choice, but it does resemble that of another animal. Meet the Tamandua, a species of anteater found in southern South America. As you'd expect, their nose is rounded off at the end, and as a bonus, its ears and tails closely resemble original Arthur as well. Though they may look similar to aardvarks, anteaters are a completely different animal and not closely related at all. While the Tamandua's classic black backstrap coat pattern is unlike that of Arthur, they do come in a brown morph as well, which closely resembles the character. As an aside, in flight or fight situations, these animals will strike one of 2016's most terrifying positions. Otherwise known as the T-Pose. They will do this to try and appear larger and threatening to scare off predators, which may explain why everyone I do this to instantly screams and runs away. Anyways, these little critters are quite unique to what you may expect an anteater to look like. Because rather than having a long, bushy tail, their tails are hairless on the underside, which is done so the species has an easier time gripping branches when climbing trees. But in actuality, if this is your idea of an anteater, you have the wrong idea of what an average anteater looks like. There are three main types of anteater. The giant anteater, the northern and southern tamandua, and the silky anteater. All three looking distinctly different, but the tamandua and silky anteater have more shared characteristics overall. Just look at this cute little guy. So, all in all, though Arthur today may look like a caricature of an ambiguous animal, his past reveals a better resemblance to his supposed aardvark blood. Remember to like and subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can keep up to date with when I post videos in the future. This topic itself was actually recommended by a viewer, so if you'd like me to cover a certain topic in the future, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and continue to explore the Biodiverse.